How do you do, ladies and gentlemen, and teachers and boys and girls? I am Julia Sumner Miller, and physics is my business. Speiste gereiste reisen selten bis Elba. Na, macht es euch halt selber. Hallo Miller, heute lasse ich mal einen Professor Julius Miller das erklären oder beziehungsweise mal ein bisschen was zeigen, damit ihr vielleicht besser versteht, worum es bei der Action for Free Wicklung geht, also der AVF Wicklung. Dafür, dazu habe ich in der Recherche zu dem Back EMF und so von Julius Miller, habe ich mir die ganzen Videos angeguckt oder reingeswitcht, sage ich mal. Da habe ich dann gesehen, oh, der erklärt ja wunderbar ein Teil zumindest oder damit man es besser versteht, zur Wicklung ein paar Sachen. Und das haue ich euch jetzt einfach mal hinten ran. Now, consider this enchanting business. Here is a coil of wire of so many turns, wound in a certain direction. I have the coil connected to a zero-centered meter. Here is the pole of a magnet. Watch it. Deflection to the left, deflection to the right, deflection to the left, deflection to the right. Now, let me see how the EMFs behave when put together jointly. Watch it. Aha. Uh -huh. This suggests what? This coil has the same number of turns as this one, and they are wound in opposite directions, so the insertion of the North Pole here gives rise to an EMF with a current in a certain direction, and this one annuls it. So the effect is zero. Practically. Now, let me see how the EMFs add. Watch it. Aha! If the scale were big enough, it would go to six. So, this suggests at once how these coils are wound. Aha! Here is a coil of wire whose ends I have connected to this meter. Here is a bar magnet. Watch the meter. We should see all the system. Notice when the magnet is at rest, there is no change of magnetic flux and therefore no, no uh, current arising, no difference of potential. Now let me double the magnets. I doubled them. Aha, uh -huh. but if you noticed how they went together, it is obvious that the north pole of one has annulled the south pole of the other, and if they are of equal pole strength, we should get nothing. Watch it. Very feeble. Very feeble. Now let me put them like pole to like pole. Notice they are repelling each other. I'm going to squeeze them together. Now we should get an additive effect. Watch it. Aha. Uh -huh. Notice it requires motion or change of magnetic flux threading the coil. Aha. Uh -huh. 